Hi there, students. What's the difference between a cyborg, an android, and a robot? OK, let's start with the robot because it's easy and I think you all know what, what it means. Yeah, a robot is a machine that is programmed to do certain things automatically. Yeah, a, a robot is a machine that um, you give it a program and it does various different things. Yeah, it's able, it's able to move independently and it's able to do complex things like picking things up, moving things. Um, in factories nowadays, there are lots of um, uh, robots ma making things and doing things in factories. Um, let's see. A robot. A robot could look like a human being, but an android is a much better um, word for that. Um, an android is a robot, but that is made to look like a human. Yeah, it's n it's not human. It's a it's a robot. It's a machine. It's controlled by a computer, but the android is made to look like a human. Okay, um, so for example, in the in the film Blade Runner, it's difficult to know who the humans are and who the androids are. And then finally, we have a cyborg. A cyborg is um part human, part machine. It's a joining together of a human and a machine. So, f for example, Robocop, he was a cyborg. Yeah, um, it's a cyborg is a human with um, uh, machine enhancements. Now, I think at a basic level, cyborgs already exist because there are various machines that um, we put in, into our bodies. For example, um, a pacemaker for your heart. That might make you a cyborg. Or I've seen that there are um, limbs, yeah, um, replacement limbs that you are that people are able to control with their minds. Um, and this is the beginning. Although I think in science fiction, the idea of a cyborg is somebody or is um, a being whose powers are considerably enhanced. Uh, so they're much more powerful, they're much faster um, by the mechanical parts that they have. So a cyborg has a human part, is part human, is part human, part robot. Um, an android is a robot that looks like a human, particularly one that um, has the same appearance, that is very similar. And a robot, a robot may look like a human, but it could just, it's, it's just a machine that's controlled by a computer to uh, perform jobs automatically. So you know these um, machines that go around your house uh, um, vacuuming. I would say these are robots. They're quite primitive robots, but they are still robots, yeah? So um, a robot is a machine that does things aut automatically. Now, you could um, call a person a robot. If you call a person a robot, you're being um, negative and you're saying that they're very efficient, they're very effective, but they never show any emotions. They never show their emotions. So, for example, um, Mr. Spock in Star Trek is uh, rather like a robot. Yeah, um, he doesn't show any emotions. Um, OK, an android. An android. Yes, this is the robot that looks like a human, but you can also have Android, the operating system for your mobile phone. Yeah, um, that, an android is a trademark. Yeah, you can say an android. This could be your phone that uses the Android software. So Android is um, the operating system for a mobile phone. Um, and then a cyborg. A cyborg is just part machine, 
are part part human. Um, does a cyborg have to look like a human? I don't think so. Um, it might do. A cyborg might look like a human, but it has uh, machine enhancements to make it more efficient. Okay, so let's now look at formality and origin. A cyborg. I think maybe 5.5 in formality. An android. Again, 5.5 in formality. And robot, 5 in formality. And then to the origins. Okay, um, the word cyborg was uh, invented by an Austrian neuroscientist called Manfred Kleins in 1960. And this is the uh, a mixture of the words cybernetic organism. Cyborg, cyborg, cyber org, organism. Um, the word android, this comes from ancient Greek. Yeah, we've got andros, um, the genitive of man, and uh, Aedes itself. So it's, it's like a man itself, yeah? And this is the android. Um, and then finally, the robot, the word robot, um, comes uh, comes from uh, a Czech word, robot, robota, meaning drudgery or servitude. Yeah, um, this ca uh, this word robot ca first came from the nineteen twenties, um, and it from a science fiction play by Karel Kapek. I hope my pronunciation's right. Uh, and then it was taken into the English language without change. So the word robot is quite new as well. So there we go. Enough. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you soon. Bye for now. So a cyborg, a robot, and an android.